Okay, at this point in the study, you can see that we're actually making some entries in here. Now, there are times when you might want to associate notes and so forth with specific entries, uh, but obviously here you've just got a massive list of all the other things going on. There's an option down under Info that you can click here, and it says Show Reference Numbers. This option right here, Show Reference Numbers. And you see what it will do, it will actually insert here a reference number to the left of the description. So as you make more entries, it's adding the reference numbers here. And this is often used if you want, if you see something you want to make a note, you can now make a little pencil note, uh, say reference number 28, which is this one here. You know the next one's going to be 29, obviously, so 29, something's happening, right? So you can actually uh, use this to pinpoint uh, where you might want to record some additional data uh, outside of the actual confines of the program itself. So that works real nice if you want to gather additional data and associate it with a particular observation. Now when this data is passed by comp into the Excel sheet, you can see there's a column here, column K, element reference, and you can see there's numbers in here. So if we scroll down to the bottom, the study we were on was a test one here, you can see, and here you can see the actual reference numbers in column K. And of course, then you can manually say, well, this particular one had certain issues going on. That was number 29 that we're talking about there. So again, use the, um, the show reference numbers if you want to associate uh, notes from outside of the Time Pro program with your data.